morning everyone we are back on the road we just left Bathurst where we spent the past couple of days doing a little bit of relaxing taking in the July 1st celebrations and having to do a little bit of work but we are now on highway 11 heading east and we are headed towards the Acadian village or the historic Acadian village unfortunately it's raining so we don't know how this is gonna play into the day but we are headed there and we're gonna see what happens once we get there you know as soon as we got here the rain stopped which is amazing because we really wanted to check out the historic Acadian village this village holds a lot of cultural significance because it's a living museum which represents how the Acadians would have lived uh, a few centuries ago the Acadian historical village follows a two and a half kilometer walking route and is comprised of original buildings dating as far back as 1770 Inside each of the buildings are interpreters dressed from the time period and conducting jobs their characters would have carried out. shorter people as you can see by the height of the doors. Works for me, but if you're a little taller, you're going to want to be careful walking through these homes. The loom would only be installed during the winter, so that would be their winter job. They would do over 40 yards of wool during their winter. Madame Robichaud had seven girls, so she had a bit of help. As soon as you could touch the pedal, you would be working on it. So at around 10, you would be start spinning the wheel, the, uh, the wheel. Mm. but as soon as 5, you would start teasing your wool. Steve Jobs would be very impressed that I found the original iPad from the 1800s. Can you read that? <laughs> Probably not. So, I'm good. What can I have? Well, today we get from Jamaican rum, by the way. Jamaican rum. This place is absolutely amazing. Each of the interpreters in, in every home is so knowledgeable, not only about the history of the house, but also the history of the type of work that would have taken place in each of the homes. I just so amazed I'm kind of geeking out I'm not usually all about the history but this is really really cool the Acadian village also has a place where you can come and grab some food and the menu items are all dishes that would have been traditionally cooked during this time period so I have ordered some beef with dumplings and a potato I'm really hungry, so <laughs> this looks very delicious at the moment. So this entire building and all of the machinery is for grinding flour. The fellow just explained to us that the, this, all this machinery, every single part of it is just being run off of a turbine that is being powered by the water. It's incredible. All of this is just from, from the energy created from the water. This has been a fantastic experience here at the historic Acadian village. I highly recommend a visit. What was your favorite part? All the people inside the buildings, everybody was doing their job, whether it was working the loom, uh, there was blacksmiths, there was people running the mill, they all knew exactly not only the family history, but also the job that those, those family members would do. Mm -hmm. It only cost $20 per adult to get in, and your admission price gets you two days of entry within a one week period. So if you can't see it all in one day, you can easily come back for a second day. Thanks so much for watching guys, we'll see you on the next video.